may may know if uh, Colonel Grijaldo has an excuse letter in so far as uh, his absence into this hearing is concerned. Uh, the none, none, none uh, attached with is the uh, the letter, no cover letter of uh, coming from the lawyer himself, and at the same time uh, only attached uh, medical. Uh, certificates <laughs> without <laughs> a letter excuse coming from uh, Colonel Grialdo, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, may I move that we issue a show cause order to Colonel Grialdo to explain his absence in today's hearing in spite of the invitation made? So move, Mr. Chair. There is a motion to issue a show cause order to Colonel Grialdo for being absent today. Uh, any second? Second. Julie, Julie seconded. Any objections? Hearing none, the motion is approved. And lastly, Mr. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, yeah. just uh, on the topic of um, Colonel Hector Grijaldo, yeah, no. I was going through the pages that uh, were sent regarding uh, his absence. Nakikita ko po dito sa kanyang uh, patients first. Uh, apparently, this is a medical explanation kung why he is not here because he's suffering from shoulder pain. Unfortunately, Mr. Chair, there is no date indicated in the prescription letter. Uh -huh. Other than that, on another page of his medical certificate, again, there is no date mentioned in his uh, letter that he has forwarded to the committee. So, I would just like to find out, Mr. Chair, is this verified and true? Gawa, gawa um, maybe we can ask his uh, lawyer, uh, Your Honor. Uh, we will defer the discussion on the matter of Colonel Grijaldo. Okay, when I will we, defer to the uh, better judgment of the chair. It's just something that I noticed when I was going through the documents. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. DSJJ. Mr. Chair. Chairman. Yes, uh, Congressman uh, Fernandez. Well, dapat hindi na po magsasalita about this because uh, he mentioned our name in the uh, pidabit that uh, he testified in the Senate. And accordingly, when I uh, saw the... Um, yung motion po ni uh, Chairman Ako, ngayon ko lang po nga nakita na wala siyang excuse uh, letter and justified po yung uh, pag-move for the uh, Shoko's order. And at the same time, nung binanggit naman ni uh, DS also yung pong, uh, medical certificate, I think this is a uh, prescription. And uh, accordingly, nakalagay po dito yung uh, kanyang uh, problema, yung uh, chronic left uh, shoulder dislocation and there are like uh, procedure for MRI Wow. Uh, maybe we can ask the uh, pihaw, no? Kasi I believe that uh, andito ba yung pihaw natin sa PNP? Because uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, Mr. Uh, Chairman, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman uh, uh, Co-Chair Del oh, Fernandez, okay. uh, we'll just discuss it later, no? And we'll in fact, if you want to speak something about what really transpired during your uh, conversation with Gerardo, may we ask you to to vacate your position as co-chair and be yes. one of the spokesperson as or the resource of, person. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Chairman. As a matter of fact, that's what I intend to do uh, to inhibit myself in the uh, discussion about this uh, issue. And together, maybe with uh, Chairman uh, Bante, we will be uh, uh, trying to uh, um, relieve uh, temporarily our our uh, chairmanship in order to uh, discuss this in... Uh, uh, transparent and um, impartial and uh, honest uh, uh, investigation on this matter because this pertains to the um, integrity of this uh, quadcom and uh, we don't want that this uh, quadcom be uh, deluge with so many uh, uh, bad uh, comments about uh, what Chairman Abante and this representation have done in order to better the, the, the truth. Uh, about the uh, conformity of uh, Colonel uh, Grijaldo. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he's not here right now and uh, he is sick. 
and that saddened us as well because we wanted really to uh, to uh, to the, the, the members to to ask him about what really happened if there was really indeed a uh, coercion and harassment that that, that was done by uh, Chairman uh, Abante and myself. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And with that, uh, if we will be uh, discussing our uh, issue with uh, Colonel Grijaldo already, uh, this representation on my, ako, ako, uh, I will be yielding my uh, position as a chairman of this uh, committee. Mr. Chair, thank you, uh, Congressman Fernandez. And also be subjected to the uh, procedure of a resource person. If indeed, uh, we need to uh, be subjected to, uh, to the procedure uh, being undertaken by this committee. Okay, that's noted, Congressman Mr. Fernandez. Uh, before, Mr. That, Mr. Congressman, uh, before that, Congressman, before that, Congressman Jong, let me ask if uh, Congressman uh, Paduano is already done with your. Not yet, Mr. Jong. This matters. will be the last, the so, last uh, invite. Uh, Just a matter of with, with the indulgence, with the indulgence of, of uh, the Congressman uh, Paduano. Sulat ni Duterte yung huli, no? Palusot ni Duterte yung huli. So, I proceed. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And last, but not the least, at last, we received a copy, a letter coming from the former president, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the authority given to Attorney Delgado. Okay, okay. As his counsel in this uh, investigation, Mr. Chairman, uh, just a while ago, no, and uh, I think uh, all the members has a copy of the letter coming from uh, Attorney Delga, no, with regards to the reply of the former president on the invitation of this uh, committee, Mr. Chairman. So I, I give the floor to Mr. Chair. the chairman and to the wisdom of the members of this committee how uh, we will go about with regards to the letter of uh, attorney Delgra representing the former president well, and, uh, Comsec, <laughs> Comsec, may I ask, is attorney Delgra present not today okay. sir uh, before we discuss with that mr chairman i move since uh, of course he has a letter sent to us no the former president giving authority to, to Attorney Delgra, I move, Mr. Chairman, that we issue a Shokos order for Attorney Delgra to be present on the next hearing on the basis, on the basis of his letter no? and uh, the authenticity, authenticity of uh, such uh, uh, authority given to him by the former, former president. So move, Mr. Chairman. Again. There, there is, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Uh, before we rule on the motion, uh, yeah, Mr. Chair, I just like uh, to let me allow recognized. the members who wish to uh, manifest. No, uh, while we are at this subject matter uh, on the letter uh, sent to us by Attorney Delgra as the counsel to the former president, uh, may we ask uh, what is the pleasure of yeah, uh, Congressman uh, Adyong? Mr. Chair, before I touch on the issue raised just now by Chairman Carabs Paduano. Mr. Chair, uh, while uh, our invitees' names were mentioning by our ComSec, I noticed, Mr. Chair, that one of our invited guests is present in today's hall. Uh, I noticed that uh, former uh, uh, Commissioner Nicanor Don stood up when his name was mentioned. And uh, just to be fair to our guests who are present today, may I, may I humbly request, Mr. Chair, that our ComSec uh, assist our guest to his seat because I, I believe I saw his name tag, I mean, name, name plate on the table. So he would be, he will be seated properly uh, at the table, Mr. Chair. So may I request uh, former Commissioner Nicanor Feldon to pr proceed to the table uh, to his assigned seat. And... Uh, direct our secretary to please assist him. Okay, thank you. Uh, Paige, can you please assist uh, former Commissioner Fildon to his uh, seat? Mr. Chair, Chair. may I proceed? Uh, uh, on the matters of the letter of the Mr. Chair. Yes, please. Please uh, proceed. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I believe, Mr. Chair, that the letter that was sent to this committee is about the reasons why the former president opted not to attend this committee hearing. Uh, as we all know, Mr. Chair, of previous days, previous days uh, ago, he attended 
the Senate Papa. inquiry on the same oh. subject matter, Mr. Chair. I would just like to be enlightened uh, as to how do we go about with the standing inv inv invitation uh, to our resource persons. Uh, I understand, Mr. Chair, that the committee, this quad committee, has been so lenient to the former president and to some individuals. And I agree with the leniency we have extended to the former president. Uh, according uh, to him, uh, being a former president and being a former uh, head of state, Mr. Chair. Unfortunately, some of the guests here who were present, who were not present, sent us a letter, an excuse letter, specifying medical reasons. And for some, they have also sent their lawyers to represent them. I believe the lawyer of the former president, Attorney Delgra, is being given authority by his uh, client, this, uh, this being the former president, to appear on his behalf. Because I, as I was glancing over the letter of Attorney Delgra, specifying the reasons why the former president decided not to attend uh, this committee hearing. And some of them are, to me, uh, is some of the reasons, at least on my part, the way I understood it, is not only on the basis of him avoiding or refusing to attend the Quadcom, but he even went uh, to assail the integrity of the, of the Quad Committee and now, even questioning the impartiality of some of the members of this Quad Committee. Now, I believe some of the members in the Senate, our counterpart, have also been, also been extended uh, the same invitation. But due to interparliamentary courtesy, we understand we never forced for these uh, individuals to appear before this committee. I just want to be, be clarified. Um, as to the questions of attacking the credibility uh, of the uh, Quad Committee, and to some extent even questioning the impartiality of some of the members here, and in totality questioning the integrity of this Quad Committee.